today I'm going to show you how to work out the gradient of a straight line. Now the gradient is just how steep the line is. So a very steep line with a very big gradient would be sloped something like this and a very small gradient would be sloped a lot flatter like that. So to work out the gradient of a straight line in these examples I'm going to use a method called rise over run. So. In order to calculate the gradient of a straight line, I must have at least two coordinates on that straight line. So I need to know the coordinates of two points. So in example number one, I've been given these two sets of coordinates here. Remember, the first number is the x coordinate and the second one is the y. So when we use this method, rise over run, well, rise is going up or down. So we're looking at the difference between the y values. The run is horizontal, like the x-axis, so we're looking at the difference in the x values. So we're actually just subtracting the two y values, so difference in y values, and then we're dividing by the difference in the x values. So it doesn't matter which way round we subtract the coordinates. We could do this, these ones here minus these ones or the other way around, it doesn't matter. As long as you're consistent, so if you choose to do this one minus this one, you have to do the same for both the x and the y. So in this question, I'm going to do these two minus these two, just because these are bigger numbers and then I can avoid having negatives. But like I said, it doesn't matter if you do it the other way around, you'll get exactly the same answer. So difference, remember that means subtract. So I'm going to do 7 minus the other y value, which is 5. And underneath, I'm going to subtract the x values. So I'm going to do 4 minus 2. So now I'm going to calculate that. 7 take away 5 is 2. 4 take away 2 is 2. And again, I can simplify because 2 divided by 2 is just 1. Because when you divide something by itself, you always get 1. So the gradient of the straight line that passes through those two points is 1, positive 1. All right, on to the next one. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to use my method, rise over run. So I'm going to subtract the y values and then subtract the x values and divide. Remember, x is first, y is second, so it's always in alphabetical order, x, y. And it doesn't matter which way round you subtract. So I'm going to do the same thing on this one. I'm going to do these two points minus those two there. So I've got 8 minus 6, so the y values on top for the numerator, and underneath, subtract the x values. So we've got minus 4, take away negative 3. So this is where lots of people make a mistake. There's a double minus here. Remember, you always subtract and then that x value also happens to be negative. So there are two negative signs, one for the takeaway, finding the difference, and one here because this happens to be negative. So you're doing minus 4, take away, negative 3. Now let's work that out. 8 take away 6 is 2. Minus 4, minus, minus 3, well the double minus turns into a plus. So minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1 and that fraction simplifies to negative 2. So the gradient of the straight line that passes through those two points is negative 2. So to work out the gradient, you only need to find at least two points on your straight line in order to work it out. Okay, next I'm going to look at some diagrams and we're going to do the same thing where we can see the graph on the x, y axes, okay? So in the previous two examples, you were given the, the coordinates for two points on a straight line. You might also be presented with a diagram like this, where they draw the straight line and they ask you to find the gradient. So the first step is to identify two points on your straight line, because remember, you need to have at least two points on the straight line in order to work out the gradient. So I've just gone ahead and highlighted two points on that straight line. So I'm just going to write down the coordinates of both of those points. This one is x is 1 and y is 2. And this one down here has x is minus 2 and y is minus 2 as well. 
So your first step is just to identify the coordinates of two points. Then it's just like before, you're going to use rise over run to calculate the gradient. So remember, the rise is the difference in the y values and the run is the difference in the x values. So remember, x is first, y is second. So I'm going to subtract the y values. And again, it doesn't matter which way around you subtract. So I'm going to do this set of coordinates minus this set. So I've got the y values on top. So I've got two take away negative two. And underneath I've got the x values. So I've got one take away negative two again. So watch out for those double negatives. Lots of people forget to write down one of the negatives and then they get the wrong answer. So be careful, it's always subtract. And then these two just happen to be negative as well. Now let's work that out. Two minus minus two, well, two minuses turn into a plus, so that's the same as two plus two, which is four. And the same underneath, this double minus, they turn into plus, so one plus two is three. So I've already worked out the gradient of that straight line. It's four thirds, or if you write it as a mixed number, it's one and one third. So it's exactly the same method, except I had to identify the coordinates, the two points, on my straight line before I could calculate rise over run. So I'll have some more uh, questions in my videos on straight line graphs coming up soon, finding y-intercepts and using y equals mx plus c. So bye bye for now.